Hi everyone. I, uh, a lot of people have been asking about uh, the solo game for uh, Destiny Aurora Renegades. So I figured I'd show you how that's played. And as you can see it's laid out here. A lot of people have been asking, well, if it's two boards, what's the footprint? Uh, is, it, is it too big for a normal table? And as you can see here, um, I've actually just laid it out on a coffee table and everything fits. Uh, it's going to be a little tight, obviously, for four people, but for two people, it'll fit on a coffee table. Uh, so, also, people have been asking about the size. I think I've been asked just about a dozen times the size of the figures. So, I'm going to go up there and show uh, the figure versus an Imperial Assault figure. Okay, so let's do that, and then we'll, we'll get into the game. So, here's uh, an unpainted uh, Jace figure. And here is an Imperial Assault figure. So you can see that uh, the figure is about, I don't know, a third, a third the size bigger uh, than a uh, Fantasy Flight figure. So, which I also find that, you know, it's the bigger figures are easier to paint and things to that effect. So I kind of like on that size. Okay, so let's get into the game. Okay, so let's start with the mission. We're going to be doing uh, Undercover. So I'm going to read that to you in a second here, uh, and here's the card that goes with it. And as you can see on the bottom, uh, it has a green planet. So that will be our mission planet there. And I normally put, uh, you know, back them up against the um, the dock uh, for the the planet side. Uh, so it's just easier to. Uh, think of the ship going down on the surface from there. So let's read this real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, you receive word that a coalition agent has gone undercover to discover information your employers prefer to remain secret. The agent's identity is unknown, but he's posing as a drag. Uh, you must find and kill him. If you kill the wrong guy, however, they're going to be held to pay. Uh, so we're going to use security room. Uh, remember, I don't have the modular side yet, so I kind of uh, working with a static board. Um, so um, security room, data library, stellar cartography, the training room. I do not have the training room, so we're going to be using the robotics room instead. Uh, mission: begin with four drag warriors. And I'm going, to, I'm going to be using uh, stormtroopers for those uh, at this point. Um, one in each above named room, and place a numbered token one through four underneath each uh, underneath each of them. Then roll a die, re-roll if it's a five or a six, uh, and then number uh, that number is the undercover agent. Uh, crew members may interact with an adjacent uh, dreg warrior. Uh, they may interact from stealth to place a transponder on them. Place a, frac uh, a faction token next to the successfully scanned Dreg Warrior. Uh, this represents the transponder. It's sending a signal to your ship, uh, either Coalition or Renegade. Um, your ship may then perform a 5 plus search scan test from space as long as your ship is within four spaces from the mission planet. Uh, success allows you to reveal the number. Uh, remove that faction marker once the scan is successful. You may divulge uh, the revealed number to your teammate, which I won't have. Um, and once the undercover agent is discovered, he becomes a member of the Coalition crew, uh, plays a Coalition token next to him, and remove all tokens from the other drag warriors. The agent gains plus two health for each Renegade crew on the board. So it'll automatically get two from me being on the board. Uh, if a drag warrior is killed, uh, Darius will spawn in the security room. Uh, with the two drag warriors and gravitate toward the killer. If more than one, the last drag warrior uh, killed. In addition, three drag fighters will spawn in orbit uh, upon the mission planet. So even if I accomplish my goal, um, all these things will happen, which will impede me from getting to my ship. So just so you can see uh, the crew I chose. So I'm going to be playing uh, the Hades 6, and my crew, I have Cunlor Thorn in the commander seat, 
uh, Dro is going to be doing uh, the, the piloting. Uh, engineering would be Nella. Uh, Grom is in weapons. And uh, then I have Trix is going to be doing my medical slash communications. Over here on the NPC side, since I'm playing a solo game, um, I'm just going to use the five main characters from the book. Uh, Jace, Rovana, Rolf, X, and Flibby. So how this works is whatever people I choose for my away team is mirrored by uh, the NPC. So, and of course they're going to be on the Aurora. And on top of that, we're going to choose cards from the NPC deck. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and place our tokens. So here is the tokens one through four. So we will turn those upside down. Okay. And then we will shuffle them. Okay. And then we're going to place one under each of these warriors. So let's go ahead and do that. So one here, one up here, one over here, and one in the security room. Now, we'll come over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take an NPC card for each character. So, I, I'm i going to be using, um, let's make it easy, I'm going to use only two people on my away team. So, I'm only going to choose two cards for the NPCs. So, the first one... Uh, is prey on the weak and uh, the NPC will hunt the character with the lowest initiative if damaged the NPC will not engage the attacking character and will continue hunting the lowest initiative character so we will assign this once we pick our away team and the second one is I'm on a mission uh, the NPC will hunt the mission objective uh, and if that means attacking a creature, it will do so. Uh, if entering a room necessary, that the NPC will attempt a stealth test. So basically, it will try to do put the transponder on. Um, so that kind of changes everything um, because they are actually going to be trying to solve the mystery of the undercover agent as well. So these rest of the NPC cards will go away, and then I will assign using these colored tokens. Which character? So let's uh, let's figure out my away team, and we are going to start on the planet's surface instead of starting in space, uh, just to make things faster. I also uh, took six uh, world event cards out, so this will be a timed mission. After the sixth uh, round, the game will be over. All right, so let's uh, figure this out. Okay, so now uh, I flipped all the cards over from my crew so I can, you know, figure out who I'm going to take on my away team. Like I said, I'm only going to take two. And I already know that I need a stealth person in there. Uh, however, I'm also going to need my ship to be able to take care of itself because I need to scan them from space and I'm constantly going to be attacked. Uh, so, and I have no idea what's going to happen in the world events either. So... Um, I'm definitely going to keep Dro on the ship as my pilot, so I can run back and forth. I'm probably going to take Kunlor, my commander, and put him on the planet. Um, since he's a really good fighter, uh, his stealth is decent, and I'm going to need to stealth uh, for this mission. Um, so... Uh, Nella's got a stealth of three, 
and tricks would also be good with this uh, because she has a stealth of four um, and so does Grom however Grom is my weapons person so he has a attack of four for the ship um, Nella's only got a one so leaving her in weapons would not be a good idea and Trix only has two so I am going to probably leave Grom on the ship even though he's my best fighter and uh, and probably take Trix uh, who is the next, is next stealth um, person so so there is going to be my my ship crew. It's going to be the ones I have in blue now, and we'll move these down here. Okay. So that will kind of be my configuration on the ship and in uh, in orbit. Okay. So now, obviously, the same thing over here. So that means Jace will be coming down to the planet. Uh, because he is their commander, and again, they have to mirror what I'm doing. So, and I also took uh, my medical, so that means that X will be coming as well. Alright, so that's their configuration. Alright, so now we're kind of ready to begin. Uh, so, what we're going to do is assign these cards, these NPC cards, to uh, to their characters. So we're going to take take a die, and we're just going to assign uh, if it's uh, one, two, or three. This will assign to Jace. If it's four, five, or six. Uh, it assigns um, to X. Okay, so it's a two. So the mission card goes to Jace, and the prey on the week goes to X. All right. So what we're gonna do is we'll make X red, and we'll make Jace green. That's just easier to see. And we'll just discard those two blue ones. Okay. And now we are pretty much ready, except for we have to know what number uh, we're going to be looking for when we're doing our scan for the undercover operative. So let's go ahead and roll one die and it is a three. So we're just gonna leave that number to the side and we know that we're gonna be looking for number three. So this mission can either take a very long time if we have to scan every single one of these people or we get lucky on our first try. So let's see what happens. Okay everybody we're gonna start. So since I'm the Renegades, I will pick my landing location first. And I'm going to place it over here at number one. And what we'll do for the NPCs is we'll roll randomly. Alright, so that'll be a two, so they will be on the complete opposite side from me. All right, now as far as our landing party is concerned, uh, again, we just matched for the NPCs, we matched what we had, and that was our communications. Um, and our ins uh, inspector or captain, so that'll be mine. Um, I'll have tricks here as well. So again, I'm only gonna start with two people if I need more, uh, I'll, I'll drop one off. So we will do an optional uh, 
employment. So we're going to do half of our movement, which Cunlor is a movement of five, so that would be three. So I'm going to actually move into here. One, two, three. Or I can actually go here. So let's do that. And then Trix has a movement of four. So I'm going to kind of split them up. So I'm going to go one, two. All right, now on the other side of the coin, we have Jason X. And again, their cards, their NPC cards, one is on a mission, which is Jace. And probably on the week for X, uh, so he's going to go out to the lowest initiative, so he's immediately going to head towards, uh, towards Trix. So uh, there, his movement is four, and Jace's is four, so they're only going to move two up. And again, I, I have the, the figures going for the androids, so at least I'll be able to replace the stormtroopers in the very, very near future. So now that we've deployed, I'm going to put an arc pistol on Jace and, uh, and one on X. I can get it under there and I'm going to give Jace the blade because I'm going to give I'm going to mirror that exact thing on the side of the renegades so the other arc pistol I'm going to be discarding because it won't be used right now it'll just stay on the ship and again We'll do, we'll do this, and we'll do this for him. Alright, and then again, this will be staying on the ship. So that's our setup for now, and we'll be continuing in a second. Okay, so we did our deployment. So uh, my initiative for my characters is uh, 11 and his is 12. So he's actually gonna get to go first. So he's on a mission. So Jace will start heading into um, to start scanning these guys. Um, so we're gonna go, he's got four, so actually he's gonna swap over here. So one, two, three, four. And since he's on a mission, he's going to attempt to stealth in there. So his uh, stealth is a three. So we're going to roll three die, and he's going to need a five or a six to stealth into the room. And he will not get it. So therefore, he is going to basically shoot his way in. So he's going to finish his movement here. So we went one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, so that would finish his movement. Of course, he wouldn't kill the guy because the mission is to scan them. So he is going to have to scan the guy next and try to evade and get out of the room. And X is going to go his four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. All right, so he's, they're done, and now the Aurora will go on to the green mission planet for as a free action. 
Now, Trix is already in trouble. So, I'm going to start with Cunlor here. He's going to scan that canister. Uh, Cunlor has a scan of three. So, he's going to attempt that test and he would get it. So, I'm going to. And he's got a shield recalibration unit. Uh, that will allow me to heal my ship even from um, even from the mission location. So we take the search items and the real shield calibration unit. And I'm going to put that on Cunlor. Okay. And so that'd be one action. And of course this comes off and just discarded. And I'm gonna go one, two. So before I move, I'm gonna roll my stealth. My stealth is a three. And I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna hide in that green area. Um, I'm not gonna uh, interacting with the drag fighter here, drag warrior. Uh, he's gonna take an action, so I have no actions left. So that will end his turn, and she will do the same. One, two, three. She's gonna enter movement there. And I'm going to roll for her. Her stealth is a four. So if she doesn't get this, something's wrong. And she did get it. Frig. Okay. So I'm going to... Hmm. I have no idea what to do now. really don't want to go in that room and have to fight and try to get out. So my range is four. One, two, three, four. I won't be able to get to him anyway. So I guess that's going to end my turn and I am going to pop up here next to the Aurora. All right. So he's stealth, so the Dreg Warrior, let's pull the Dreg Warrior card out. Okay. So since they're, they're adjacent, the Dreg Warrior will attempt to scan for Cunlord. Their scan is a whole one, and he will not get it, so Cunlord will stay in stealth. Over here, uh, Jace is going to get shot. So their attacks are a three. So let's use the red for the attack so you can see them. And they're going to get one hit. Um, when more than one Drake Warrior is on the map, uh, add plus one to the highest uh, valued attack and defense die. Okay, so this is going to become a five. All right, so Jace is going to roll one. Jace has a plus one to one defense die. And he will not get it, so he will take a damage. All right, so... And that will be the end of the NPC's turn. And Jace will take one wound. All right, so now we go over here to this board, and my highest initiative here is my navigator, um, which is Dro, which is a four. Their highest is also a four, so I'd actually go first here. So I'm going to go. Uh, Dro has a movement of four. 
so if my shields are up, it will actually well, be a 5. And on top of that, I get a plus 1 uh, to run roll defense die, and I can alter movement 1 per turn for free. So he'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, turn. And he's going to fire on the Aurora. Alright, so I have Grom in my weapons console, and Grom has a uh, targeting of four, so he'd have five die. Let's get five die out here. Plus, he gets plus one to one ship's attack die, which is kind of why I've only put two people on the planet. Uh, so I had a full, almost a full company on the, on the ship. All right, so five. Uh, kind of crappy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make this one a four. So at least I have three hits on him. Find four. There we go. And then these two will be discarded. All right. So. The Aurora will then roll three die. Since I have three hits, they will roll three defense die. And since they have Flibby uh, in their navigation, she has plus one to one defense die as well. And since it's the NPCs, it'll always be the highest one unless it's a six already. Oh, it's actually pretty good. So this one will become a four, which will knock this out, and they will get two hits. So we'll take uh, get our damage tokens and take two damage. Okay. So, the Aurora got two damage from my attack. Uh, I'm not finished with, now. even though I used two of my actions, I'm not finished yet because I am adjacent to the salvage, which I did on purpose. So, uh, I do have, um, I should have done this originally, but I'm going to move Nella into my communication station. And also, I need to see what bounty I have. Um, my bounty is on the ship, so I need to board. That's uh, just, so you, just so you can see it. So my bounty is uh, Rovana, who is on the Aurora. So I would need to board to be able to take her out. So I'm on my way though, because I have two damage to him already. So I'm gonna, I move Nella, which I should have done at the beginning of the turn, uh, to my communication station. And Nella has a... Uh, a search and scan of three. So she will be able to search and scan that for a three. So let's roll three, see if I can see what's on there. And I can, I have a six and a five. So very good. And even better, it's a Rathi deflector rig. Awesome. Uh, oh, and I can't take that though because I've used two of my actions. So that will stay there until the next turn. He can't take salvage because he's an NPC, so I'm pretty sure I can take that. So what he's going to do, uh, NPCs will always try to base you. So they'll be going one, two, three, all the way up to me and firing. Uh, but since Jace is on a mission, the Aurora will also have to work in tandem uh, for this mission as well. So it's not purely just going to be an attack vehicle uh, as a normal NPC would be. Uh, it will have to take uh, actions to do the mission as well. So, uh, but he's not ready for, the, for that yet. He's also got to tag the bad guy. Um, so he's going to attack and Rovana has an attack of four. So it'll be the same five die and plus he gets plus one. So let's see what happens here. And she's going to turn one of these into a five, so it's going to be almost this. this nope, she's only got two on me. Okay. So I'll roll my two defense die. Dro will get a plus one. And a four and a one. So I'm going to take one. Even though I turn that to a five, it's not going to do any difference to it. So I will take a damage on my ship. Damn you, Rovana! Okay, so my shields are down to 90% and theirs are down to 80. Uh, so that would be uh, the end of that. What I should have done was pulled a world event card after this. So I'm going to do that. Oh no. 
So I just pulled enemy attack and we will have to pick up an enemy card. So this will, uh, I'm going to put this right side up here because there's only six cards because I have a timed game. After six uh, rounds, the game will be over regardless of what happens. All right, so my enemy's cards are over here. Let's see what I got. Okay, so Dreg Warriors, which uh, is not going to make much of a difference here. Uh, unless otherwise stated in the mission card, place the enemies at a random location. Uh, they will tire, target the highest initiative character. They can reach in a single movement with each attack, uh, each attack a different character, unless they have no other options. So we're going to place two to five Drake Warriors. Normally I would roll for this, but I have one, two, three, four already out. So I would only be placing two because that's what's remaining in my pool. All right, so let's put this down the back and then I will get the other two Dreg Warriors.